The stream up chapter market manager, if you've not seen it, is this thing right here. It's on the OBS forums. You can see my whole video on it that explains how to work, how it works, but it is pretty much does what it says on the tin. You've got a bunch of options to create chapter markers, either by hotkeys or automatic on scene change. You can also add more information for annotations. There's a lot of things that you can do. It gets baked into videos and also exported to text files and XML files as well. So it's all in one solution for creating chapter markers, which can improve your content creation workflow. So you don't have to spend ages finding stuff. And now with the companion app, which I've created just here, which look at this incredible screenshot, all the links will be in the description. So don't worry. Uh, but with this companion, we can actually automate chapter markers, annotations, we can get a current chapter marker, and I've added some examples on how they work. So this is how to get it installed. You just need to jump over to our website. It's currently not live as of recording this video, so it'll be like a 404, baby. Um, but you can grab it from the Kofi page just here. Again, all the links are in the description. Bang in a zero there and press get now, or you can obviously leave a donation to help keep me making all this content full time uh, as, as I spend a lot of time making these plugins and stuff for you. So it's massively appreciated. And uh, once you get that all done, it'll take you over to our My Stream Up page and you just download it in there. Uh, make sure you do sign in with the same email. We're currently moving away from Kofi. So it's just a whole thing at the moment. Once you're wanting to get it installed, open up your streamer bot and open the file that you've downloaded. It'll have a bunch of things in here. It will tell you to make sure you've got the stream up chapter market manager for OBS first. It's it's not necessarily required, but to get the most out of this plugin, like obviously just do it. It's it is a free plugin and it's o OBS plugin. It's great. It's OP. I was going to say OP, but I tried not to. Uh, so we're going to press import in streamer bar and we're just going to drag and drop in there like so. And if it doesn't allow you to drag and drop, it's usually some admin privileges or something like that. So you can just open the SB file in in Notepad and it's just a bunch of text like this. Select all and copy, and then you can just paste it in there manually as well. Um, both ways work, it's absolutely fine. It'll tell you everything that's here. So you've got a couple of commands as well, which we'll run through in a little bit, and there's eight different actions. Just press import, press continue, uh, and OK, and there we go. They're all in, ready to go. And the first thing to do is jump to the command section, and you will see a Stream Up Tools Chapter Marker Manager Companion that these three are in red. So we need to right click on the companion um, title, text, group bar, whatever you want to call it, uh, press group and enable all. This will turn on the chat commands, which I've currently set up just to work for moderators but you can go into them, add your own commands, whatever you want the commands to be, and you can set it to certain people to use and, and everything like that. It's up to you what you wanna do here. We've got current marker, annotation, marker or set marker, set chapter, that kind of stuff. So it's up to you what you wanna label them as. Um, so jump back to actions, and the first things first is start the settings. So click on the CMMC settings, right click, on the trigger here and press test trigger, it will open up the uh, settings menu. So we need to make sure OBS is connected. If you've not used Streamerbot before, I'd recommend going to check out my other videos on setting Streamerbot up. This is your OBS connection number. You just go to stream apps, which is this one just here. Go to OBS and you'll see zero is the one that I'm actually connected to OBS. So I'm gonna make sure I use that one. So I'll leave that as zero, and then we've got a send chapter marker to Twitch VOD. You can have that off or on. That basically any chapter markers that get added in either OBS or um, via Streamerbot, it will get added into your Twitch VOD as well. I'll show how that works. We've got the messages as well. So you can actually send some chat messages so moderators know the chapter markers have been added and everything like that. So you can do uh, it to Twitch slash YouTube. So you turn it on and off via this. Uh, send it via the bot account that you've got logged into Streamerbot as well. The default chapter name. So if you don't add a chapter name, it adds a default there. Same for chapter source. This is just helping you organize your chapters uh, and everything like that. So you know exactly what their moments are. So you've got all the relevant information and you can quickly make the 60 second clips or the actual piece of content for you and everything like that. 
We can then set the messages that get sent to chat. So this is just feedback in chat that when something's happened, uh, you know exactly what's gone on, whether or not a chapter mark has been added and all that stuff. So I'm gonna leave it as the defaults because that's absolutely fine for me. So I'm gonna press save and you should get a little notification saying everything's been saved successfully. So under actions, we've got the three different actions. We've got the get current chapter marker and uh, basically anytime that this runs, it will get the argument current chapter. So when you're using this, you want to basically trigger this action with something else and then use that um, that kind of uh, argument, which is the percent sign, current chapter percent sign. I'm not gonna go too much into detail for the get current chapter, because I can't really think of any use cases at the moment, so that's up to you guys. Uh, but when it comes to actually setting the chapter markers, this is all done so easily. So when you click on set chapter marker just here, you'll be able to see the um, trigger this action from another action, which we'll be able to make in a second. You need to set the following arguments in your action, the chapter name that you want to call it, and also the chapter source. And you can use other variables in here. For instance, the chapter source, uh, as an example, is Twitch cheer bits, bits. So I can actually say how many bits I got um, and then obviously put that in the chapter name so you know exactly what's happened, which is really cool. So here's the examples of how that works. So we'll do set chapter marker via moderator chat command. So if I have a moderator and they type in uh, exclamation mark marker, because I've got the command just set up here, I set the argument chapter name to the actual text that they put in, which is the raw import. And then I also set the chapter source to mod command and then their username as well. And then I trigger the action CMMMC, uh, CMMC set chapter marker, which is this one here. So it gets that information and sends it across into here and it does everything behind the scenes. So let me just open up OBS just here and I'm gonna press start recording which this is actually doing the chapter marker manager just here. And if I get a kind moderator, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, silver link, to do exclamation mark marker followed by a name, it will update everything using all the tech behind the scenes. Um, let's see if the silver link, I feel like we need we need a countdown clock. The, 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 I love how my moderators are just not here. There we go. So we've got a chat command that's now triggered and it says chapter marker added and the only fans. And it was done by mod command silver link. So you can see exactly what's happened there is actually written in OBS as well just here. And you can see that this is the current chapter that we're on and everything is there. And because we turned on center Twitch, even though uh, if I reload my video producer, for my current stream, because I'm streaming right now, I'm recording this live. So if you guys have got questions about stuff, come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Uh, we'll be able to see down here, it's it's being cut off slightly. Let's 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 wind this up. Um, it's still being cut off. Can I click into that? Is that gonna let me? It's because there's so many close together because I've got the start recording, as you can see, but we've got the Andy OnlyFans marker just there. So everything is there, which is awesome. Um, and there we go. There's even more just here. Marker, help, I'm being bullied. He's not, he's not, I love him. So if I refresh that again, you'll be able to see another chapter marker will have been added down the bottom just here. We were doing some tests earlier on in my stream, so there's five chapter markers now, and you'll be able to see them all just here. I don't know how to open that up. Um, it's because we can see the full length. Let's, uh, 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 hour. Can we do this? I don't, I never use, never use this. Here we go. <laughs> So all the info is just there, which I totally love. I think it's great how it just kind of comes together and it's on. These are actually getting sent twice because I have got it open twice. I've got two streamer bots open, which is quite funny. But there you go. You've got all your markers inside of your Twitch VOD. You've also got it inside of OBS. And you can see as they're getting updated there, and if the moderator does exclamation mark annotation and a bunch of text as well, so we can use that as an example, uh, that doesn't come up as a chapter marker, but that's where you put more information in. So your moderators can send a bunch of information, but not as a marker. And then when you go to your um, 
chapter marker manager settings and you have like export to text file and XML file turned on, which I've done a tutorial on how the actual plugin itself works um, over on the other video, which I'll link below. When you open up your videos, because it automatically saves to wherever your recordings get saved to. So this is weird. I'm recording like twice now. So this, this is confusing. <laughs> so if I open up the chapter just here, you'll be able to see you've got all the things here that we were put in, the mod command. I'm being bullied, mod command. Download this now from Stream Up Kofi. And then you've got the annotations as well, which are all written here. And that gets saved as a text file and an XML as well. Uh, if you guys got any issues with anything, please let me know in, in the comments or just send a message or something or visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Andy Lippy. Um, so you've got all that information there so you can easily use this to create loads of content really easy. No need to kind of go through all your stuff. Uh, and if you're using 30.2 of OBS, it actually bakes it into the MP4 if you're using the hybrid MP4 feature. So now I've shown you chat c commands and moderated commands. You can actually do any trigger you want. So here I've done a Twitch cheer um, that's over 9,000. So I've set up a normal trigger, just like we, we you do inside of StreamBot, done a trigger for a cheer, and I've set it to be a minimum of 9,000. So when that happens, the chapter name I've set to hype moment. So I know that, whoa, that's a hype moment there, which is really cool. And then the chapter source is the Twitch cheer. And then you can use variables in this so the amount of bits and bits, which is really cool. And press OK just here. So now if I just do a test trigger, you have seen chat, chapter mark added, hype moment, Twitch cheer, 9,042 bits. And that being as cool uh, as it is, that gets saved into the text file, as you can see. And it also gets saved to the VOD as well if you've got that turned on. So there's a lot of choices that you can do with this and you can easily just create your own. So if I open that, you can see it says hype moment, even though it's getting cut off, um, but it's all there, which is really nice. And then if I create a new action, for example, what you could do is just duplicate one of these other actions and start editing it. And all you need to do is set up whatever trigger you want. So it could be a Twitch hype train uh, level up, and you can do a minimum level or maximum level or on every level like this and then change it to um, hype moment and then we'll do a hype train. And then when I trigger that, boom, it was as easy as that. Chapter marker added, hype moment, hype train. And obviously use any variables you want in there. And again, it gets saved into the text files, the, the XML files gets put in there and it also gets sent to your Twitch VODs as well. 